What's up y'all? It's oh so dope. I'm back for another video. If you guys are interested to see how I got this pretty brown look um and this hair, honey, before my night out, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I am back for another video. I've been so busy with work because um, I just got promoted. Woo -woo. Um, so I was like, man, I miss making my videos. I need to get back to it and give my subscribers some videos. So here I am, honey. Um, I changed up my routine a little bit, so I figured this would be the perfect video to do. As you guys can see, I sculpted uh, or I molded my brows with some got to be gel, not too much, um, so it can dry quickly. That way it'll help mold and shape them the way I want them to go because I've really been loving that feathery um, eyebrow look. Then I moisturized my face with some Pons and now I'm taking this Calamine lotion, um, which is basically a skin protectant. Um, so it kind of serves the same purpose like um, how people use milk or magnesia, but this one is uh, better for your skin. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking that with a brush. And the key to doing this step I learned the hard way is to do a thin layer, not a thick one. A thin layer and making sure it's evenly spread out across um, ensures that it lays flat and seamless under your foundation. Um, so yeah, I'm taking this little, um, eyebrow pencil. It is from Milani, I believe. And it basically has a spoolie on one end, um, and then the pencil on the other. So that's what I use to make some little hair like strokes at the beginning and in the spaces of my brows that are kind of a little bit more, um, sparse. Then I'm taking this, um, uh, Morphe, um, concealer brush and I'm using the color Fawn, um, from the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer um, collection. Um, yeah, and I'm just sculpting my brow out. I start on the bottom, um, well, the inner. Maybe I, Sometimes I start at, at the beginning, at the middle. It just kind of depends, but I don't conceal the top of my brows anymore, really, honestly. Um, I kind of just um, do my bottom only. So you see me pulling that down just so it'll make it easier to blend and I'm also going to prime my lid for the look I'm going to do today. So that's why you see me being sure to drag that down. So I'm also going to take some of that concealer and put it on my lid and just buff that in with this buffing um, brush, this like concealer type brush and just get that all flat so that way my Airspun translucent powder can just go over it and set that eye That way my lid can be primed and ready to go for my eyeshadow Now I'm using my James Charles palette y'all don't judge me. I dropped it a couple of times and it cracked some of my um, Shadows cracked, but I didn't want to throw them out because I still wanted to use them and I've had this palette for quite some time um, But I didn't want to throw it out just because a few of them were cracked and I didn't want to actually dump the product Because I still wanted to use it don't judge me, I need to clean it off. Yes, true enough, but y'all get the point. <laughs> so I'm using those dark brown and that black color in there to create a wing. And I put some tape down in a diagonal um, direction to make it easy for me to create a wing. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to create a wing of winged effect without truly having a true wing. Um, so I'm using that um, Anastasia... Beverly Hills brush. Oh wait, that one might be my Morphe. I have so many brushes, y'all. I think that one might be my Morphe eyebrow brush. It's either the Morphe one or the Anastasia one. One of the two. Um, and I'm using that to glide that shadow on. And then I'm gonna take another eyeshadow brush, which is gonna go ahead and be one of my Morphe brushes. This one I think came with the James Charles Artistry um kit. And you just see me buffing that through and it's honestly going to create a very pretty crisp line when I take off that tape. So here in this clip, you will just see me buffing that um, in and blending that out on both sides. Shut up. 
So I did my lashes um, off camera and I was using the Great Lash Mascara um, to prep my lashes for the falsies, which I got these on Amazon. They're D curl lashes, so they look like extensions, which I freaking love. Um, these things were on Amazon. I got like six pair, I think for $7, which is dope. So I'll link those below for you guys. And I've been finding y'all that brushes have been really giving me life. I have not used the beauty blender for real for anything except maybe like blending harsh lines a little bit, but brushes really pack that product and keep it in place. Whereas beauty blenders more so spread it around and pick up a lot of it. So lately here, I've been noticing that I've been really loving the application of brush, um, uh, uh, using a brush, I'm sorry, to apply my concealer and my foundation. This has been amazing. Like, so y'all see me taking that, um, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. The first shade that I used was in the shade Tan Walnut. The second shade I put on top was uh, Tan Sand. And I let those dry down a little bit while I took my Juvia's Place, uh, the Warrior Palette. And the color in there that I used to do my contour is called Kano. And I basically um, went around and did my cheekbones. And then... Um, after I did that, I went ahead and started to buff this concealer in. And as you can see, that line that we created is even more crisp because we took that concealer along that edge of the actual shadow. So it came out really, really pretty and really, really neat, which I really loved. And it created that winged smoky effect. So now I'm taking my airspun and I am setting everything except that extra concealer that I put just to brighten up my under eye just a tad. So I'm taking a brush, a fluffy brush, which I love to use to apply my setting powder um, and this little skinny one to, you know, get that nose contour right um, because it just, I don't know, it just snatches it together. And my makeup look, I was so in love with it after it was done. I was like, bro, I literally got to do my makeup like this every single time now. Um, so I'm blending all that in, boom. And I'm taking my airspun and I'm setting that immediately just to avoid any creasing. So y'all see me doing my thing here. Um, I don't bake. I typically wipe it off after um, I apply it. Um, I don't know why I never really noticed the difference in me baking or not baking as long as I set everything right and made sure everything was nice and blended and that I use a nice base I never really had any issues so I'm going underneath my cheek contour and then I'm taking that same color I used in the Juvia's Place Warrior palette um, to do my nose contour as y'all can see and I use that same shade to do my waterline so yeah y'all these palettes are very versatile you can use them for so many different things when you do your makeup so don't think you have to just limit yourself to just eyeshadow no sis it can be a blush it can be a contour it can be all that so now i'm taking this uh sephora micro smooth um powder and that is in the color mahogany and i'm just using this fluffy brush i got from a wig company to dust that over um, my concealer as well as set my the rest of my face. Now I'm taking my Morphe palette and this one is the 8R palette. And I'm taking the blush color uh, in there and I'm using that to apply blush to my face. And y'all know I've been, whoo, this blush on the nose didn't have me in a chokehold for the last, I don't know how long. And now I'm doing one of my favorite parts, which is applying my lip. And I look a little ashy, y'all, but don't worry. When I apply my setting spray, that's going to all come together. 
Um, so I'm taking that um, brown lip liner that I got from the beauty supply store. And I'm taking a little bit of lipstick that I got from e.l.f. I don't know the color off that, but I use that in the middle of my lips. And then I use my Fenty Gloss. Um, I forgot which one it was, but I used that to go over to set that lip baby then i went ahead and added my beauty marks spray my face with some mario badescu and some elf satin spray mixed together and now i'm using my laura geller and gilded gold i believe that is what that one is called to add oh wait i'm thinking about laura geller <laughs> that's gilded gold this one is um the jaclyn hill highlighter in the shade bomb it's the loose highlighter. Love it. That has me in a chokehold as well. <laughs> I did wind up spraying my face again later because I just realized that it was not given enough and I was still a little like Casper y. But I fixed it later. So moving on to the hair, as y'all can see, I'm way behind. Um, all I did was reapply this frontal wig that y'all have seen me do a video on, and I will link that video. Uh, it's when I did the Jada inspired uh, messy updo. This is the same wig that I used for that tutorial and I literally just washed it and blow dried it and um, blew it out really good. Make sure it was detangled um, and put some heat protectant on it before I began to straighten and I just sectioned it half and half um, and began to do the chase method throughout my head um, to get it straight. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to let y'all watch me do that. So now that I'm done, I'm taking my hot comb and I'm just making that front look a little bit more natural. Laying that frontal. The back of my hair was not straight. I did go ahead and fix that because I noticed it when I seen the video after but on to my outfit y'all I got dressed and this outfit came out so cute the skirt and this top I got from Sheen I got my shades on honey um I did wind up wearing um my Gucci leggings um my tights actually and then I have these um patent leather shoes that came from Akira to finish off the look and I got these cute ass earrings from Sheen y'all so I'm looking good going to this outing for work. And yeah, I love how this look came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.